Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day five here on Lapis Lakeside, looking for us a good stuffle. Only 99 sleep points today. Uh-oh, that's a bad sign. 8,996 sneaky snacking, more than I wanted, but we're still doing all right. We're still in that nice little golden zone that we're looking for for the stuffle, so no worries there. Uh, we are going to collect 99 sleep points, which puts us at 5,293. And for our daily lottery, we're going to pick up, let's see... What can we grab? Something nice. Give me something. Ooh. A great biscuit? I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't even know a great biscuit was on the list. I thought the best you could get on biscuits was three Poke Biscuits. Okay. Fantastic. A great biscuit. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. I just didn't know it was possible. Had no idea you could even get that. I even remember looking at the possible list back in the day of uh, drops, and I don't remember a Great Biscuit on there. Maybe I've just forgotten. Wow. Okay. Well, before I get too sidetracked with the Great Biscuit and I end up talking for about three minutes about how I didn't know that was a possibility, let's move on and jump into this sleep report and hopefully get the slumbering sleep type, which I don't think we're going to because I didn't sleep very well. Uh, that looks, uh, well, never mind. That's definitely a dozing with 14%. Yeah. Unfortunate is what that is. Super unfortunate. Um, but we are still going to get about that 30, 36 million? Somewhere around there? I forget exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah almost 36. Just a little shy of 36 million. Uh, still seven spawns, though. Let's see for snoo or dozing that's what Ralts. I've I'm back to the point of forgetting I remembered for a while but then it didn't matter for a while so I've now forgotten again it looks like a Dratini but it's not it's an Ekans on that atop belly unfortunately um maybe we got a new sleep style though nope that's all seven none of the uh the new trio for lapis so psyduck bellsprout primate two mankeys a lot of monkeys though and two ekans interesting okay question is what do i catch from this probably a bellsprout to be honest because we have a good victory bell but i would like another one possibly a better one ours is a really good hybrid victory bell uh, but I could use a better no one's hungry could use a better victory bell that has a better ingredient spread for the long haul uh, Currently the one we have is just good enough for us to use for level 30 uh, all the way up to like 50 maybe uh, up to 60 a big hit Fantastic, I'll take that uh, So if we could get one that is gonna be more usable for the long term that would be nice uh, nothing else really worth feeding any biscuits to here so yeah we're just gonna run off with our victory bell our victory bell our bell sprout hopefully good enough to be a victory bell and we're gonna call it a day all right um well two options here uh manky candy or bell sprout candy in my mind to help people with lapis mm, i mean psyduck candy may not be bad for the suicune event but uh don't know how many people are actually using a Psyduck on their team, so I don't know that that would actually help too much. Uh, yeah, we'll send out the Bellsprout candy. Because Bellsprout can help it more than just Lapis. It also helps with curries in general. So, we'll send that one out. And then we're going to grab about 5,200 Dream Shards. Not too bad. 5,219 if I've done my math right. Maybe my brain is awake enough for me to do math that quickly but our bell sprout is level 14 and lonely which is bad because i think we found out yesterday that's speed down so that's not good um doesn't quite have the ingredient spread i would want anyway um i'm not really too sure exactly which ingredient spread i want for the long term maybe tomato tomato potato would be pretty good because it's a nice balance so that'd be good for when we need both of them uh, cause it does happen where we need both of them. Let me see. It's, uh, there's one recipe in particular. Yeah. The dream eater butter curry. We need pretty much an equal amount of tomatoes and potatoes. So that would be really good for that. And that way we don't have to have Venusaur or anybody else on the team for the long term. So that would be good, but I don't know. 
I could, well, no, they'll probably add some more leek recipes eventually, so maybe tomato, tomato, leek would be good. But for right now, I think this one's not going to end up being good because of that nature, so it really doesn't matter. Although, these uh, sub skills are starting off pretty nice. Ingredient finder as, oh, oh, come on. Of course, these sub skills are actually good, and skill level up as, also good. Hmm. Oh, it's speed of help up. I had it backwards. It's energy recovery down. Mm. That's a lot better. Unfortunately, it does inhibit its own main skill, but that skill level up will help balance that out just a little bit. Um. So this might actually be pretty good outside of the ingredient spread which is just kind of okay but I may hold on to it because uh, you never know it may actually turn out to be super usable later on uh, not looking good so far only PR 71 which is about what our victory bell is currently um, does go up a bit though 81 at level 50 which makes sense when we get the uh, ingredient finder so that's pretty good um, don't know what else would really make it worthwhile that helping bonus is super helpful funny enough um yeah this one i think this one's worth holding on to for now i don't know if i'm gonna invest in it just yet i think we could probably find a better one uh well not according to this three percent chance at level 60 to find a better one is leaks really the optimal are leaks really the optimal ingredient at level 60 for a victory bell i feel like Maybe? Maybe they are. Because currently Doug Trio, I think, is the best leak finder. Maybe Ditto? But they're both kind of slow, so maybe maybe leaks at level 60 for a victory bell is optimal. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna have to look more into this, but also if you guys know something that I don't, because from what I know, and I don't know everything, I'm not pretending to know everything about this game. Just from my own knowledge, leeks aren't that useful because we don't really use them in too many recipes. So I don't know why, but maybe because this is a 96. It actually went up. Maybe leeks are more useful than I'm giving them credit for. I mean, they certainly could be once we get more recipes because leeks only have a couple of recipes and I feel like we're going to get some more eventually. I kind of wish we'd get more recipes before we get more ingredients because some ingredients feel like you never really use them. And even the Slowpoke Tails feel like they've lost the luster they once had. I remember in the early game, when the game first came out, we were all about tails and the, making the tail dishes was the best thing you could ever do. And now nobody really talks about them. So I kind of wish we'd get some more recipes using the ingredients we already have. I don't think we really need new ingredients just yet. I think we need new dishes. So if they do that and we get new dishes that use leaks at level 60, maybe this would come in handy. I mean, an 86 PR, I like most of this. The only thing I really don't like is the energy recovery down and the double up on the inventory up. But mm, at level 60, it might be worthwhile to have double inventories. Um, so this is pretty good. I'm going to hold on to it and we'll just see how the game goes. We may use it eventually or we may find a better one. But for now, we'll just keep using the victory bell we have. We're going to hold on to this one. PR of 86 is pretty nice. Uh, not really going to complain about that one too much. It, at level 100, 15% chance to find a better one. That's not bad. That's a pretty good one. So got lucky today with that one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on. I know uh, that we have some kind of notification. And I don't know if it's new news or if I got a medal. I doubt I got a medal, though, because it happened last night. And... My strength has not really grown too much, so I doubt that's the case, but uh, let's see. It is news. Ah, good sleep day report. That makes sense. Um, oh, we actually slept long, longer? Or no, was it seven minutes last time? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. But I think we're actually... <laughs> our uh, average sleep duration for good sleep days is getting worse. Uh, oh, well, it was actually pretty good on the actual full moon, plus 10 minutes. I think that's the best it's ever been. All right, well, we now get to find out when the next good sleep day. Uh, 
June 20th through the 22nd. So uh, that's exactly what we were expecting because you know it's easy to track with the full moon cycle. 20th through the 22nd, if they do start the Suicune event on the 15th, like I suspect they will if they do the Suicune event, I'm assuming it's going to be on the 15th so that the Good Sleep Day event will be right in the middle of the Suicune research. And that's also good because that means that the night of the full moon is the 21st, which is Sunday. So that Sunday when we have our uh, highest strength for the week, we're going to get times two on top of that. So we might be able to get a, a three star Suicune drowsy power. Uh, probably going to have to use an incense to get it to show up because I doubt I'm going to be master 19. Um, but we'll have the drowsy power for it for sure. So not too bad. Not bad at all. So June 20th through the 22nd. Mark that on your calendars. And for our community reports, we're going to grab about, I don't know how many we're going to get. It's been such a wild number lately. 47. Yeah, I wouldn't have said 47. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, only 11 that doubled up. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, our, our odds had to run out eventually. All right. Let's go ahead and move into the meat and potatoes. Let's see how our pantries look. Yeah, we can collect all that. Not worried about a couple of Rost Berries. Candy is good. Um, dragon Berries are kind of strong, so let's see if we can get just the herbs. Well, only four berries left out. I'm trying to play a dangerous game, and it's not working. More eggs and apples. Oh, our inventory is full. Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. So what can we get rid of? We can get rid of uh, a few apples. Wow. We actually don't have much to get rid of. Mm. Yeah, crazy. Um, Didn't get nearly as much sausage as I wanted. You know what? Really don't know. I don't want to cook anything really fantastic. Um, Honestly... I'm thinking at this point, I'm just going to let uh, everything go into the void. I kind of think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it all go to the void. We're going to get cooking. We're going to choose a recipe. No recipe. Uh, we're going to put seven apples. Oh, seven is all we need for fancy apple. Um, we'll throw a couple other extra things. I don't want to do the corn the tails aren't really super helpful they're nice as a pot filler occasionally but only really if it goes extra tasty at this point um in my opinion i don't really think they're all that useful i want to keep the cocoa the milk uh nope 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 i did not mean to put that in there i think um yeah i think that's it i'm just gonna cook that don't add more watch this will be the one that goes extra tasty Got lucky. Good. Glad that one didn't go extra tasty. 1983. It'll make a small dent in our uh, strength, but not much. Not much. Well, that's good. We can still stay in that little range that we want. Um, let's see. Where's that going to put us? Not quite to Ultra 2 yet. Yeah, not even close. We're about... Four fifths of the way, roughly, to Ultra Two. Let's see. I'm not gonna be able to get that. I was gonna try to get those apples without getting the uh, a or get the eggs without getting the apples, but that's not gonna work. Okay. So something I wanted to try because somebody brought this up in the comments of a uh, video a couple days ago. I want to check and see. So Delibird, 82% energy. Let's swap out. Yeah, let's swap to this team for just a moment. Let's go ahead and back out so the team sticks. Okay, the team is now officially changed. Uh, for those of you that don't know, if you don't back out to the main screen, your team change doesn't actually take effect until you do. Uh, but the reason I did that is because it kept Gardevoir on the team. Now let's switch back again, just to double check. 
Or no, no, no. I did not mean to switch back. Nope, this is the team I want. So Delibird's at 82. Blastoise at 100. We do want this team out just for the experiment. Because I want to check and see if Gardevoir, Gardevoir's skill trigger, if we get one, we may not even get one, if it applies to the team that is currently in use when you collect it, or if it applies to the team that was in use when the skill trigger um, proc. So let's see if I could click on it. We didn't even get a skill trigger. Nice, lovely. We do have some corn in there. Can we get that corn very sneakily? Is that one? Yeah. Oh, well, not very sneaky. Oh, well, never mind. We were already at 600 anyway. It doesn't matter. Never mind. Well, my experiment failed because we didn't get a skill trigger. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back to uh, to this team and uh, yeah, just leave it there for now. We'll have to try again uh, to test that because I'm pretty sure that the team that is in use when Gardevoir... Oh, I didn't clear Gardevoir's uh, stuff. I'm pretty sure the team that's in use when you collect Gardevoir skill trigger is the team that gets the energy, but we did want to double check just to be sure. Because I did tell that person that I would double check. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a skill trigger, so I couldn't double check. So sorry about that. Um, but let's go ahead and move on before I waste more time talking about a skill trigger that never happened. All right. Well, I don't think we really have anything else to do today. Um, Kind of, kind of an interesting day. A little bit of a lackluster day. Not too much in the in the sleep report. Bell Sprout was kind of nice though. That Bell Sprout was kind of nice. Um, so happy about that. But we do have one other thing that I need to do because we talked about it yesterday, and now that we have some time. Let's go ahead and uh, switch on over to production comparison. We need to compare these Dratinis and Dragonairs and figure out which one is going to be the better one to invest in for the long term. I should have all of them here. Yes, I do. Okay. I haven't renamed this one yet, uh, but this is the one. Yep, this is the one we caught yesterday. So it's uh, Ingredient Finder... Inventory, helping speed. Yep, that's the one. So we'll put that one first. And then level 12. Where are you at? There you are. Then level 32 is up next. Uh-oh. I haven't updated my box. Probably need to do that today. I've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of housekeeping I need to get done today. Okay, so it's actually the level 30. And then the next one is going to be level 35. That's going to be this one. Cool. Okay. So expand all. Okay. So I think we're just going to start at level 50. Let's just go ahead and bump up to level 50. Two evolutions. We're not going to put any seeds in anybody. Two evolutions. Um, uh, can we do this? We can. We can just hit level 50 right there and get everybody to level 50. I knew someone told me a trick and I couldn't remember it until just now. So thank you, commenter. Uh, the only problem is it doesn't evolve them for us, but that's all right. It's a lot easier than clicking, uh, 50 every time. Okay. So at level 50, the question is more about the ingredients than the total strength. It looks like one, two, and four are very similar in their ingredient uh, production. Um, helping bonus is a big buff, though. Oh, no. My Dragonite with the double herbs is herb, herb, oil. Yikes, that's bad. I was hoping that that was herb, herb, corn. That's what I had in my head, but unfortunately, no, it's not. Um, okay, well, at level 50, hmm, I mean, I think we still keep the double herb Dragonite. I think that one is one that we for sure keep. And then level 60, how does that work out? 
Yeah, it would have been super nice to have corn instead of oil on that level 60 for number three. Mm, number two, I think, is definitely one we don't need to keep, even though it has helping bonus and that's very nice. The ingredient spread is just all over the place. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I think that is the one we get rid of. And then number one, the one that we caught yesterday, is actually kind of redundant in a way. Is it? Or is it not? Maybe not. Maybe not. No, it kind of is. Mmm. I don't know. Yeah. I do feel like it's kind of redundant. In a way. It's hard to tell, though. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually the better option over number three. Even though number three has Berry Finder, the ingredients are ultimately what we're going to have them on the team for. So... 68 herbs and 30 corn. In my opinion right now is better than 56 herbs and 64 oil. Maybe I'm wrong. Honestly, maybe all three are worth keeping. Maybe one, three, and four are worth keeping for different scenarios. That's a lot of investment. That's a lot of candies to get them to level 60. And we may have something that's even better by the time we actually get them to level 60. There may be a new Pokemon that uh, outperforms all three of them. Mm. At the end of the day, I do think number two we should get rid of. It's hard to tell, though. Hard to tell, to be honest with you. Each of the uh, charge energy is good. Only once a day on number three, but 1.69 a day on number one. That's pretty nice. And then 1.79 on number four. Honestly, one and four are looking better the more I look at them. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's very hard to tell. One is looking pretty solid. The only thing is that I wish it was herb, herb, corn. If number one had the 30 and 60 ingredients swapped, I think that would be perfect. Um. All right, what about if we go to 75? 75, 91, and 40. And then 14 and 80 on 1 and 4, respectively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're starting to look better than number 3. I mean, really, the best thing that number 3 has going for it is the Berry Finder. But that's not the primary thing it's on the team for. What about number 1, or level 100? Even better, even better for one and four. Um, we do get another helping speed. Uh, we get inventory up. We get <laughs> inventory massively up. Kind of strange. Kind of strange that this one has two inventory ups, M and L. Oh, well, no. The only difference is small, and it's by six. Yeah, no, never mind. I take it back. It's not strange. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking one and four are the better options, honestly. They have the better ingredient spreads. They're, if I need a good mix, I can use number one. If I need mostly corn, I can use number four. Yeah, it's kind of kind of looking like it's favoring one and four. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, but as always, let me know your opinion in the comments below because I am not 100% convinced one way or the other. One and four look good to me, but I'm not completely swayed to that conclusion. I, three may still be better. I do think two is the weakest of the four, but one and four look stronger to me than three does, but maybe I'm missing something. So give me your opinion in the comments below. Let me know what you think about these. If they were yours, which ones would you keep? Which ones would you send to the professor to get some candies to power up the others? Because we're definitely going to need those candies. Um, but yeah, as it stands, one and four look pretty strong. 
3 looks pretty good too, but uh, I'm not sure if it looks good enough to hold on because that oil is really kind of kind of killing it for me. But then again, then again, maybe that oil is a good thing because Toxicroak has been kind of slacking. So maybe we keep no, I don't know. Maybe we keep one, three and four. Maybe we keep them all. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think I should do because I am just kind of not sure at this point it is a massive investment to invest in all three of these but i suppose the biggest question is which one do we invest in first because ultimately we're not going to be able to invest in all of them evenly otherwise they're all going to be held back so one of them has to be invested in first which one is the one we invest in first which ones if any do we get rid of and send to the professor and um yeah those are the two major questions so let me know your answers to those two questions. Which one do we invest in first? Which ones, if any, do we send to the professor? Down in the comments below. And also, uh, yeah, just in general, let me know your thoughts on why you picked those uh, answers. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, I just realized I forgot to switch the screen. Anyway, I'm going to just kind of move out of the way. Let y'all see all four of them real fast. Feel free to pause because I'm a big, dumb, smooth brain that did not show you what I was talking about this entire time. Sorry about that. Sorry you're just looking at me staring blankly at a screen. Uh, big professional I am. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think on those questions uh, and why. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there before I make any more goofs. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, even though I had you staring at me for no reason. Hopefully you enjoyed the video still. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy these videos. And while you're at it, go ahead and join us on the Discord server. The link to that is in the description below. Y'all have a good night. And until next time, later dudes.